What's going on guys, Crow here, and welcome to our Call of Duty Black Ops commentary gameplay. Uh, we'll be playing on Array, and I'll be using, apparently, the Commando. Uh, this is a very, very, very old gameplay, probably from like February or early March. Um, I had it on my hard drive, and I was like, hmm, this seems decent, let me, let me rewatch it, and we'll see, you know, what the final score is. And, indeed, it was. I have a habit of not naming my uh, videos sometimes after I render, so I have no clue what the hell am I gonna discard. Maybe it's a decent gameplay, maybe it's not. Uh, so, yeah, that's one of my problems. However, uh, oh yeah, and my girlfriend, my girlfriend is in this game, you can see the uh, blue arrow right there uh, on the, on the minimap. So, like I said, this was from back in the day when I still enjoyed this game, um, you know, it was still fresh, it was, it was amazing, but uh, now I don't find the urge to play Black Ops anymore, uh, for the simple fact that I went back, this is, this is really the truth guys, I went back to Modern Warfare 2, uh, for like a couple of games in back in maybe early March, late February, just like for a couple of games because some people asked me to record some gameplay. And yeah, it was, I mean, the, the smoothness of Modern Warfare 2 could not compare with the jittery shit that Black Ops was uh, in terms of, like, frames, frame rate and stuff like that. So that really bothered me uh, for the next, you know, couple of months and I just couldn't take it. And this is before any sort of patch came out as far as, you know, the AK-74U was concerned or Second Chance or freaking, you know, FAMAS. So this is pretty much old school gameplay as far as Black Ops is. It's you know what? I don't even know if it's from early March. Maybe it's like, well, I'm gonna check later. Um, so yeah, the kill streaks. I have no clue what the hell I'm rocking. Probably like Spy Plane SR71 and the uh, Chopper Gunner. Uh, actually, I know I'm rocking the Chopper Gunner because I did rewatch it. Um, but the perks I'm using are Flag Jacket with Slider Hand Pro and Tactical Mask Pro. Now, Tactical Mask Pro is definitely my favorite and, in my opinion, the best third tier perk you can get. First of all, you get that little indicator uh, that gives you a hint where the enemy is. And second of all, flashbang stuns have basically zero effect on you. Believe me, get that thing to get that thing to pro, even though it's annoying as hell getting those Nova Gas kills. Get it to pro, use it, and you're gonna be surprised for anybody that plays Black Ops, uh, like hardcore, you know? Uh, it, it's really, really worth it. And my chair is freaking super squeaky. I don't want to make it sound like I farted or something, so I gotta get a new chair too. But Ninja, it's it's kind of okay, but it's still nowhere near close to uh, what Tac Mask Pro can do for you, especially in something like domination or when you when you have to capture a point and you're gonna get a lot of flashbangs thrown on you and stun grenades. So uh, yeah, so that that's something to look forward to as far as um, Tactical Mask is concerned. So Team Deathmatch, Domination, Demolition, perfect. You know Tactical Mask Pro maps. So there's a little tip from me. And also, guys, I'm going to be doing a... I, I mentioned it just for a little bit, my last video. Um, that I'm going to be doing a questions and answers video, which is going to be next. So be sure to follow me on Twitter and submit your questions there uh, for me to answer in my next video. Um, a lot of people ask me to do a question, questions and answers video, so I'm going to do it. I, I think I did one, like, back, back in the day when Modern Warfare 2 was still fresh. Uh, so I want to do one again when Black Ops comes out. But now, finally, <laughs> I got out of breath, uh, but now, finally, let's move on to the topic, uh, which is Modern Warfare 3. Now, I watched an interview, I don't know with who, Robert Bowling was doing an interview with some uh, foreign, I think maybe German, gaming company, or, or like a gaming channel, or whatever. And he said some pretty interesting things. He said that Modern Warfare 3 is gonna, like, they try with Modern Warfare 3, Three, they try to cater to the audience that, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing there, I went AFK, I think. They try to cater to an audience which is Call of Duty 4 based. And knowing me, I probably had to answer a phone call, phone call right there, so I apologize for that little break. So, going back to the topic. Robert Bowling said that they try to cater to the audience of Call of Duty 4. Now, that that is an awesome idea, that's fantastic, but will it work? Now... That's another question that, that brings it up. I mean, how simple can you get with Modern Warfare 3? I mean, a lot of people got used to... I, I wouldn't have a problem if it was just like three kill streaks, like, you know, 3, 5, 7, I'll be happy. But there was a lot of people that got used to their, you know, Predator missiles, chopper gunners, and just in general, like, crazy, crazy kill streaks. So how simple can they get and how complex they can get is... It, it's a mystery. It's a freaking mystery. 
it's it, I mean it shows that they try to go back to their roots um, but then again they have to stay with that Modern Warfare 2 also uh, that mentality because it is on Modern Warfare 2 engine they cannot move back um, they can only just spruce up the gameplay make it long-lasting replay value and hopefully it's not gonna be just another Call of Duty maybe it's gonna be revolutionary who knows I hope so and also the thing he got asked in the end of the interview uh, I wanted to look for a link for you guys but for the life of me I can't find it um, he said that the dude asked him what about the melee system is it gonna be different and Robert Bowling said yes he said that the melee system is gonna be different so I'm thinking two melee kill something like that maybe you're gonna melee with your with your weapon I mean who knows you know maybe knife is gonna be secondary but then again if knife is gonna be secondary, you're gonna get those assholes again that just run around with like tack knife and try to, you know, knife you. I don't know if tack knife is gonna be in the game, but uh, he said that the melee system will be different. So um, yeah, that's something to look for. That's pretty much what stood out for me in that interview, simply because you know the melee system was a problem in Modern Warfare 2. Final score of this game is apparently 35 and 2. Hope you guys enjoyed, um, and yeah, rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and bye.